Together apart to me means checking up on your friends when you can't physically be together, whether that be through phone call, Zoom or text message. Together apart to us means reaching out to the local community and getting involved in initiatives such as the Brasheen Buddies Project. This involves our members going and collecting prescriptions and groceries for the elderly and local people of the Brasheen and Braid community. This makes us appreciate the times that we had together more and look forward to the times when things can return to normal. Together apart means to us spending more time with family and communicating with friends and members via Zoom and social media. Keeping members up to date via text and setting them fun challenges to keep them entertained over isolation. Staying active and getting outdoors as much as we can to help improve our mental health. And staying safe not only for ourselves but also the essential workers who have worked hard throughout this pandemic. We are working together so that in future we do not have to be two metres apart. Stone, we are ensuring all members are still together whilst apart through interaction on our club WhatsApp, meetings via Zoom, and being kept informed on our Facebook page. Through these current times, members are staying apart, but through the ranges of social media, we are always together. It means there's always plenty of work to be done, and that has kept me busy during lockdown. But in terms of socialising, I prefer seeing people in person. And although I've been in regular contact with friends in other ways, it's just not the same as going out and having a bit of crack. I'll especially miss things like Young Farmers barbecues this summer. And I do think this change in structure and normality could possibly affect someone's mental well-being without them even realising. Because at the start of lockdown, I was busy finishing assignments for university, preparing for end of year exams and working on the farm. So in a sense, I didn't really feel that so much had changed. The most difficult stage for me was probably the time between the end of exams and the easing of lockdown measures. But since the restrictions have relaxed a bit, I've enjoyed going to see family and friends, albeit at a distance. I'm sure most of us have had off days during this time, but I like to try and find a positive in most situations. And I'd say that COVID-19 has emphasised the importance of keeping in contact to remain together while we have to stay apart.